Okay. Uh, you know, this is an engine research laboratory, poor as it is, and uh, it's not enough to research. You have to know what went before to understand how engines work and uh, where we can go with this. So here, today I'm going to show you most engines, uh, your piston engine in your car is an uh, air-breathing engine. It mixes a lot of air with gasoline. And uh, so today I'm showing you these are headers I, I've made here. Uh, they help get air in and out of the engine. The faster you can, that one over there is for a 440 Chrysler and a Datsun. Uh, this is the other side. That one has to go around the steering. A lot of times headers are the way to put a different engine, uh, engine swap. A different engine in whatever little car you got. That one over there is for a Pontiac engine in a TR7. And what they do is they reduce the back pressure on the exhaust side of the engine. If you can get rid of the exhaust better, that leaves more room for fresh air to come in, fresh charge uh, of the air fuel mixture into the engine. Uh, this is the exhaust side. You can see that will help it get out. It's more free flowing. There's a lot of science to it. Uh, uh, tuning the length of it, a shorter one like that will operate at a higher RPM. And a longer one like this will operate at a lower RPM, but it will produce more torque at a lower RPM. Uh, horsepower is the combination of RPM and torque. So uh, revving it up helps. Uh, I have to tell you this, I saw on YouTube the other day that they had the top 10 highest revving cars ever and three of the top 10 were Hondas. So you know, I think I'm calling the right people here. Uh, let me show you, this is the intake side. I don't know. If you look at it, this is a turbocharger and it pushes air into the engine. I'll just set this here so you can get the idea. This is the exhaust side, that's the intake side and the exhaust from the exhaust manifold spins, the, here's the exhaust manifold. This is from an engine I thought I might use, but I don't know if it's gonna fit it. You know what kind of engine I really want here, but I can't afford it. The engine can cost way more than the rest of the car. You know, I could do this car cheap, but you can't do custom machine work cheap. Anyway, here's the turbocharger, the exhaust, coming out of the engine spins this thing and it's connected to another uh, little you can see that fan right there and this fan over here pumps air up through here into the cylinders and you can see that's my uh, intake manifold for my uh, hot rod there the Louisiana bullet and that sticks up uh, instead of having an inner cooler these stick up to the rear wing and uh, they're air cooled and plus there's also a tuning effect from the length and diameter and all this stuff so uh, that's a uh, that right there is the plenum the turbocharger pressurizes air up to this plenum and then to each individual cylinder and the reason I'm telling you all this oh stepped on his tail accidentally so no, I told you to get away now, I was doing stuff. Okay, uh, sorry guys. Uh, my engine is non-air breathing engine. So in a four stroke engine, one of the four strokes is your power stroke and then the other three are there to pump air. Well imagine if you just by replacing the fuel here, instead of having one power stroke out of four, uh, what if you replace those three dead strokes with a power stroke? So now you got four for four. See, right there you're quadrupling your power of the engine. Theoretically, in a way. But uh, the reason is the fuel bears its own oxygen. So all these things here help move air, which contains oxygen, which is necessary for the combustion of gasoline. These help move air through the engine. But if you can get rid of the air requirement, 
That means you can really have an improved engine. These engines are clunkers, guys. The piston engine was invented something like 1692. And every car maker in the world today, that I, there's a couple maybe uh, Wankel Rotaries or something like that. Almost every car, I'll say that, uses a piston engine of four-stroke design. Those are not Chevrolet engines. Those are not Ford engines. Those are not even Honda engines. Those are piston engines invented back in 1692, started off as a steam engine, and then it evolved into an uh, internal combustion engine, and it still has the same problems it had back then, and I'm going to tell you more about it, like, uh, I'm going to tell you more about it in the future. But here, I just wanted to give you an idea. These things all help move air through the engine. To increase the power. The more air you can move through a piston engine, the more power it will make at a certain, if you got your air fuel mixture right. So uh, that's your tuning part. So uh, keep watching, and I'll tell you more about my engine pretty soon. Okay, thanks for watching.